Hey everyone. Um, I got this for my birthday yesterday. And I have a moral review. Um, but guys, check out what I've gotten from the night. Um, yeah, this review will be next. Let's see the source. So this is the 118th scale toy source review. And I also have this big boy as well. The buy on the top, so yeah, whatever one. That will be after the six source. Um the Sirop the Road, whatever that one is. The runner one will be up next at the uh, Bayano uh, tops. There you go, there you go. Back to the course source the latest review. Um this figure is very underrated. Like it is way better than the Hacky Rhinosaurus. Way better than the Xenoceratops and Utah Ceratops and um, a lot of the other ones, except the, well, I don't know. But this guy, so cool. Um, detailing wise, uh, the sculpt is so freaking beautiful. Um, now, if you look closely, also the mouth, they were teeth. And then like an articulate tongue, tongue I don't mess with because I feel like I will break it. Um, and like uh, the, what it is based off, these are based off real life reptiles. Um, so the Taurosaurus of latest is based off the, um, oh gosh, sorry if that popped up. The Taurosaurus the latest is in fact based off of the blue monitor lizard or something like that. It, I got it from Dino Screams. Uh, reviewed and this figure is so gorgeous if you do get this in there will be where this is massive like oh god it is heavy too um so just remember it's huge like for my hand it looks like it is very like small like huge okay so a lot of people are having problems with their like huge ceratoptians saying that they cannot get on but I mean, the, the joints are so stiff. When mine, when I got mine for my birthday, they were not stiff at all. Like, um, so yeah, yeah, they weren't stiff. Um, I will be doing top favorite figures of 2023, probably. Would I get my other Beast of Muscle figures in? Because I got a $175 gift card uh, for my dad. I will be getting um, a few, but I'm, I got three figures, but I'm not spoiling them. I know this figure came out like four or two years ago. But I don't care, it's gonna be up in my favorites. Anyways, um, so this is the Toy Source. So let me go get the box, and it's literally over here. Did not swallow on any hands. Sorry, it's taking one. So here is the absolutely let's move the torch out of the way. Here is the absolutely beautiful, gorgeous box. Um hey, look, this is the most beautiful box I've seen. Um now here we have the sleeve, check out more detail. So, here is your checklist. You can get the, um, camera's are really backwards right now. So you can get the torso right here. Um, here's one, a spoiler of what I got with my gift card. The Sonoceratops. Um, ugh, you know, I'm not spoiling the other two. I got the Mizutoceratops and the 118th scale Velociraptor. I believe that is Albertoceratops. Oh, Pentaceratops, Utah Ceratops, and the Triceratops. I did not get this one because I preferred the Bionotops or the Masters of the Universe one for good reasons, and then the Exanoceratops. Now, you get a nice, you know, we have 25 points of movement right here, um, realistic movement detail, profile card. So you get a card right here that we 
will get into that just in a bit. Now, if you remove this cool uh, box, if you just take a piece of like a little bit of tea, you will be able to use a very nice background for um, your horse source. Like something like a forest background. I thought that's very cool. Now, I, I don't know when the game here might already be some of the things. Um, okay. So, I don't know when the game but all that I know is that I spent a lot of money on these um, figures. Yeah, I spent a lot of money. Like a lot, a lot. I spent like a hundred and seventy five dollars. No, not one hundred and seventy five, like a hundred and fifty five. So let's get that uh, sleeve right back on the little suit car. Let's just slide in. And I kind of did not want to go as I wanted it to. Oh god, guys, hold up. Okay, wait, hold up, guys, we got it. Let's keep that there, so we use the box. Now right, let's bring back the torso. Uh, ladies, um, we'll go over articulation in a bit. For now, let's put Tora off to the side. A little trailer. This will be the next review. I guess so at the beginning or something. The Sikasaurus uh, 16 scale. It's already a seven minute video. Wow. We'll put him right here. Okay, so I have a uh, collector's cards. Um, as you can see, he will be the one we will be reviewing. Obviously, this is the one we're reviewing now. This will be the third one. Not sure when this one will come out. Uh, the next one, probably after Sorothy and Lola, blah, 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 blah. and then this guy. So, those are what will be sneak peek. Um, let's put these up. Okay, now let's get to the card. The, this is artwork. And then here's your back. So, let's read it. Hold on. Okay, so up to 9 meters, 30 feet long, across the western territory of North America. And these are more rare than Triceratops. Uh, time period, like Cretaceous, 68 million years ago. Uh, Marsh, it was named by Marsh Charles uh, in 1891. Among the largest ceratops since Torosaurus was uh, a close, a calm Terry. Oh, it's closer to related Triceratops, the validity of the species contest in 2010. Hold on, guys, I gotta take this. Hello? Yeah. Love you, bud. Sorry, guys. Um, I had to call my mom real quick. Well, but she got me. Um, uh, with triceratops related business due to a lack of transitional skull evidence. So, a lot of people are arguing that if this is a just a separate species, or like a separate species of triceratops, or it is a demon shirt for it. Um, no, let's get in back to the Taurosaurus. Okay. So, not a good amount of movement, especially for a huge figure. So, like I've been doing, the head can move this much, and it can move down this much, um, like it's grazing on something. The jaw opens very nicely. And then you have, oh my god, guys, this is heavy. You have a little twist at the, well, I don't know what you call it, like a little movement at the elbow um, on both of these articulation and the feet in on both sides of uh, the chest or waist can move oh, no, and this is a way to reveal party so I'm not calling Rukasaurus I don't know 
His name is uh, Lucasaurus. It's like the guy with the Velociraptor that does all the link to review. This is just, I'm not copying him. I'm not doing any of this stuff. It's just to, you know, it's just a late review. Um, and then this is what people have the problems with. Mine literally came in perfectly fine. So that's pretty good. The tail, I'm not, it does have movement um, pretty nicely actually, but I'm not gonna 360 it because I have a feeling it'll pop off and I'm not going through that again. Um, oh my God, guys, hold up. Hold up, I think I just found another spot movement. I, I thought I couldn't move this part. And I do. So you can move this part of the neck up, which I did not know. I thought you could just only move like a certain part of it like up. I thought you could only move like the head up. Um paint job wise, amazing. No cap. Um now I'm gonna review final thoughts. Uh if you're not as rich, get the hammer collection. I'd start off with for the hammer collection, get the baryonyx. Um but if you are like in if you're wealthy enough and rich to get um a beast of the best fair, like a very large one, get this figure. Or even though we haven't reviewed, get this figure. Now we will do size comparisons. Um so let's get it. Okay. So first of all, here's our Taurus Taurus Linus next to the one six scale uh Cetacosaurus. pretty nice this is the next review okay okay uh the smallest figure of the whole line i believe it's that one of the velociraptor the protoceratops um here are the micro raptors here's the kit i'm not gonna review these just yet i just i don't know when here it is with the Mattel. Mattel's um, not the source figure. Again, a very highly detailed. Oh, I mean, the figure's nice. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, I did pre order the Red Rex figure. Um, I didn't pre order any of the other ones uh, because I, it was 50 bucks and I did not. Sorry, guys, about the camera. It's just this figure is also very huge. Hold on, guys. So let's stand the T Rex. Actually, you know what? That'll be better. Here is the T Rex with the Torosaurus. And our last comparison. Well, we'll show a human if I have one. With the closely related cousin. Hold on, guys. Alright, y'all already know. Here, let me do something. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So here it is with the cousin, the um, Triceratops. My jaw on the side of is a bit wonky. It's not loose, it's a bit crooked. That's okay. Pretty nice figures, huh? Now, if you want to start with the big figure, I'd say get. I'd say get the Pentaceratops or the Sinoceratops, even though I don't have the Pentaceratops, nor the Sinoceratops, so I'll be getting those in a bit. Anyways, have a good day. Remember, get this figure if you're in Taurus or any Ceratops, and get this figure, and this review will just be today. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good night.